Hi, I'm Lauren Miro, and welcome to the Town Crier Report for the week of November 18th, 2011. In the Town Crier this week, Clocksatchee Groves and Palm Beach State College officials met to discuss site plan issues for the college's new campus, and buffer space emerged as a key sticking point. A lawsuit from 15 cities over how to fund the county's new Office of the Inspector General prompted Palm Beach County Commission this week to delay new hires at the office. And the deadline to enter the Palms West Community Foundation's car raffle is just weeks away. Do you have your ticket? For more on these and other stories, visit the Town Crier on the web at www.gotowncrier.com, pick up a copy of the printed edition, or pull up the online digital issue. Wellington opened its new Saturday morning green market last weekend at the Wellington Amphitheater, and the Town Crier Report was there. Today's opening day of the Wellington Green Market. We operate from 8 in the morning to 1 every afternoon. The grand opening of the Wellington Green Market was held Saturday, November 12th. Located at the Wellington Amphitheater, the market will run through April 28th. Vendors showcase their locally grown fruits, vegetables, flowers, and plants, as well as an assortment of foods from pastries to savory crepes. Organizer of the Wellington Green Market, Peter Robinson, says the market will continue to expand. Today we have over 53 vendors and we'll be growing. Um, next week we'll probably add another five vendors. We have a great selection of locally grown vegetables, plants and trees. And we also have an artisan area called Canal Street South with local artists displaying their goods. Everyone's welcome. We're dog friendly. We're here every Saturday. So come out and get some fresh vegetables and enjoy the farmer's market experience. And now a word from our sponsor. This week's Big Dog Ranch Rescue Adoption is brought to you by Courtyard Animal Hospital. Spot is a one-year-old male pointer mix. He's looking for that special someone or family to adopt him and give him a comfy home forever. For more information about Spot or one of the many dogs available for adoption, please visit Big Dog Ranch Rescue online at www.bdrr.org. Vision Salon hosted its second annual live and uncut fashion show last Sunday at Beef Wellington Steakhouse. The Town Crier Report was there to take in the latest styles out of New York. Thanks again to my team and to you for making this happen. Sit back and enjoy live and uncut New York Street. Vision Salon's second annual fashion show, Live and Uncut, New York Street Collection, was held on Sunday, November 13th at Beat for Wellington Steakhouse. The show benefited the Boys and Girls Club of Wellington and featured celebrity stylist Nick Arojo, as well as live music and entertainment provided by Michaela Page and Kenny Mondo Productions. Stylists and guests alike enjoyed the event. The first ever yoga fest brought hundreds of participants to the International Polo Club Palm Beach last weekend. The town crier was on hand for this unique experience. A day of relaxation and tranquility at the first ever Yoga Fest at the International Polo Club Grounds, a two-day event from November 11th to the 12th. Yoga aficionados spent the day participating in yoga workshops 
listening to guest speakers, and a free music concert from Ja Atal. And health related products from a variety of vendors. Event organizers and owners of Yoga Fox, husband and wife Keith Fox and Kelly Brookbank, were grateful to have the opportunity to have the event at the International Polo Club grounds, which proceeds benefited the Everglades Foundation and the Mahashakti Foundation. Um, we have about a thousand people here today, and the goal here was to raise money for charity, which is what we're trying to do. And um, this venue, okay, we have Paige Help, we have Juliana Basara, we have Christy Nones, we have Ari from Acro Yoga, we have Prem Shakti from Kupalu, Kal Kal Colleen Gallagher from Iyengar, um, Jiwan Kaur, Kaur from Kundalini, we've got Judy Weaver with Ashtanga. We, we have the leading teachers from the state of Florida and they're all here. If you went to Yoga Journal Conference or Omega, you would have paid $300 just for today. And here it is available for everyone. Local dentist Dr. Stephen Miller is now offering the Quality Dental Plan, a program available to clients who don't have dental insurance. We stop by to learn more. Dr. Stephen Miller is a general family dentist in Wellington, offering the best in quality dental care at his practice, Wellington Smiles, since 1988. Yes. We're excited to tell you about uh, the Quality Dental Plan. We have uh, been searching for something for our patients for a long time. We've been asked, don't you have a, something in your office, a discount plan that we can join? And uh, I took my time evaluating what was available out there. And I went uh, online and found Quality Dental Plan and went on the blogs about it. And the doctors who've been part of it have been very happy. Patients have been very happy. We're excited about it because it allows people without dental insurance to have the comfort of knowing that they have help if they need to have dentistry done. Quality Dental Plan provides patients with two simple cleanings a year with exams, x-rays, and fluoride varnish. Because I believe in prevention and it helps people keep uh, away from my services. Uh, in addition, Every dental procedure that uh, you might need, you receive a 20% courtesy in my office. So we would uh, hope that you might take a look at our website, wellingtonsmiles.com, and, and go to qualitydentalplan.com. At this point, we don't have that included in our website. We're working on that with our webmaster. And come by, meet the staff. I have is people working for me. I just try to stay out of their way. We try to keep everyone happy. Thank you. The Acreage Fall Festival returns Saturday, November 12th, and the Town Cry Report was there to enjoy a country good time. <laughs> The fourth annual Acreage Fall Festival was held on Saturday, November 12th at the Acreage Community Park. Come on, young! You can clap your hands! The event was filled with fun-filled ways to celebrate the fall, with music and local and national entertainment, a rib cook-off, games, attractions for children, pet adoption booth, and car We leave you this week with a look at Veterans Day observances in Wellington and Royal Palm Beach. Until next week, I'm Lauren Miro, and thank you for watching the Town Crier Report. <laughs>